Whatever your reason for creating an ebook, be it for lead generation, or you want to promote an athlete offer, or even sell the book to your audience, whatever it is, I'm going to show you exactly how to create your ebook in the simplest way I know. So this tutorial is tailored to people who have no design skills but yet want to create an ebook. But before we get started, if you're new here, my name is Christine. And on this channel, we talk about how to become successful in your online business with proven tips and strategy. So please hit the subscribe button to join the community if you haven't. And remember to like this video if you find it super helpful. And let's get started. So we are focused on how to create an ebook, right? And we're going to narrow down on how to design an ebook in Canva. So having said that, I will assume I'm creating an ebook for a client except for I'm not getting paid, okay? So I already have my content written by ChatGTP, and all I did was request a trending topic in my niche because you don't want to write on topics that people don't care about, right? And here is how I started the conversation with ChatGTP using a very simple prompt. I needed to be sure that ChatGTP understood me, and once we agreed, we move on to topic suggestion. And these are the topics ChatGTP suggested. All of these topics are so on point, but I can only choose one at a time. And this sounds really cool. Having selected your topic, now go ahead and request a table of contents or outline for the ebook. And here is the prompt to use. Now you have your table of contents, right? The next thing you would want to do is tell ChatGTP to write on each of the outlines. I love it when it writes in a conversational style, it makes it more engaging, plus the live scenario instances. And once it's done generating the first outline, you repeat the prompt, but now with the second outline. And this is how you get to write an ebook using ChatGTP. And if you're interested in using my prompt, I will leave all use prompts in the description box. So I will assume you have your content ready. And if you don't, I just showed you how to create one using ChatGTP. So the next thing you're going to do now is you're going to come over to Google Docs and arrange your contents here. Just as we have this, we have the title, we have the table of content with about four chapters. And when you scroll down, you see the full content well structured. So ensure you have your content well aligned. Then the next thing you want to do is to check for grammatical errors, punctuation errors, and all of that, okay? Because you don't want to have errors in your book. So check out any of these two grammar checkers, Grammarly or QuickBuff. These are the tools I use for proofreading. They both have the paid and the free version, and the free version would do it just fine, okay? So head over to QuickBot and show you on this page, the proofreading page, and all you need to do is to paste in your content here and make corrections on the underlined words, okay? So once you're done proofreading, the next thing you want to do is to get images for your book. And you know what images do? It helps retain and make readers glue to the book, okay? So you want to get that eye-popping images. So since we are using a free Canva account, we probably will not be able to get suitable images for our ebook so to play smart we can get all of the premium images on this website for free and don't worry you can use them for commercial purposes so head over to pixel.com simply type in your image description like the keyword in the search bar so my ebook is on healthy lifestyle okay so i'm just going to type in something like elder senior i want a picture of elderly man and a woman Okay, and there you go. So we have a lot of images to choose from. This is quite easy. So I will randomly choose an image to download and I will go with this. Click on the download button to have it downloaded on your device. Now you can always go back to the search bar and search for the next image. And this is how you get to download premium images for free for your ebook okay and this makes it easier for you when designing your ebook on canva you don't need to start searching through canva for the right image so right now head over to canva to design your ebook over here is a search bar just type in ebook and wait for it to give you terms of ebook template to work with 
So this is very important instruction and it will save you a lot of time. If you have no design skills at all, ensure you search and go for ebooks that have a lot of pages. Do not go with ebook template with one page. If you do, you're really going to stress yourself because you would need another template such as the table of content, the introduction page, and all of those front matter pages. So go with templates with more than four pages, and this will make your work easier. I will go with this template by simply clicking on it, and you'll be brought up here. Okay, as you can see, there are similar templates to also choose from. So click on customize button to start editing your template. This is where you get to edit your ebook. So what you can do here is you can change the colors, you can change the image, change the text, and all of this can be changed. And I'm going to show you exactly how to design the the layout of your ebook real quick. So to begin, we're going to start with front matter. Our front matter pages include the introduction page, auto page, table of content, dedication page, and all of that stuff, okay? So this is the book cover, and we are going to redesign it real quick. And here is what I will do with this cover. I'm going to change the title to the title chart GTP generated for us. Then remove every unwanted text and design just by clicking on the objects and using the delete icon. And I'm also going to give it an auto name and that will be Christine Trains. Now I will change this image Click on the upload button, then upload all of the images you downloaded from pixel.com. I already have my uploaded. So I will choose my preferred image for the book cover simply by clicking on the image. So I delete this primitive template or rather primitive image and drag the image into this frame. This is a very simple and detailed book cover. You don't have to complicate things while you have a template to use. So we are done with the book cover. And the next thing we are going to do right now is arrange our table of contents by removing all unwanted designs. And to make your table of contents look professional, I will show you how to make it's clickable for readability before the end of this tutorial. So before that, I will copy my table of content and paste it here. And there you have it. That was very easy. Now the next font matter is auto page. And all of these pages are essential to have in your book. Obviously not all, but the most essential ones. Okay. So to begin with the page, I will title this about me. Then I will remove the images and replace them with my own. Then I will change the old test, okay? And now our ebook is beginning to look good. This next page will be our introduction page. And introduction page is like a warm up page for your book. It gives background information and talks about why the book is important. So as you can see, this template seems a bit different. There are no images here. Well, if you want images here, that is quite easy. Having arranged our test position, to have an image on this page, click over here, click on the elements button and search for frame. So you have different kinds of frame, but I will use the square shape and I'm just going to drag it down here and make it fit in, okay? So this is how you get your frame. And like I said, there are different kind of frame designs to choose from. And the next is replacing this dummy text. I'm just going to copy it and um, paste it here from Google Docs and there you go. 
As you can see, our introduction page is looking good. And please hit the like button if you're really following this tutorial. That is a good one for me. And if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. Okay. Now the next page is the overview page. I believe by now you should have a better understanding of how to design your ebook in Canva, right? It's just a thing of click and drag. And if you're wondering what an overview page is, this is the page that tells the reader what to expect in the book and to entice them to read further. So an overview page doesn't have to be lengthy. Okay, now we are good to go. But let me show you how I design my book chapter. So I will create a blank space. Now go over and click on the cover book image. A little adjustment will do. Then I will make it transparent and impute my text. That will be my title of the page. So this is what it would definitely look like. Very easy to design. So let's work on the remaining pages to achieve the clickable table of contents, like I mentioned. And we would need to have our chapters designed. That is the body of the books, okay? And I think I've covered all necessary steps in making an ebook in Canva. And if there's anything I missed out on, or probably I did not cover, please let me know in the comment section and let me know what you think about the ebook design. So our ebook is almost ready. Only then do we have two more actions to take. But before that, this is what our ebook looks like. And if you want this template, I can always leave the link to it in the description box. Now to make our table of content clickable, click on the test you want to hyperlink. Now click on the click on the link button. Now I would choose the page that has chapter one, then click on this button when you are done. I would do the same thing for the rest of the table of content and I would be quick about it. And then I will show you what it looks like before the end of this video. Once you're done linking your table of content, now you would need to number your books, okay? Which is very easy to do. This makes it look very professional. And once you're done numbering your pages, now you can download it. Click over here where you have the share button. You click on download and now you need to listen carefully. You select PDF prints because it is best for printing. And as the ebook has a lot of coloring pages, this is the best fit. And you click on download to have it downloaded. So I'm going to show you guys what we just downloaded. This is our ebook and this is a cover. This is the about page and I don't think it's bad. Let me know what you think about the template. And this is the table of content. Okay. So I'm going to click on it. And as you can see, this is chapter one, making it more interesting. I'm going to scroll again to click on the chapter two. And there you have it, chapter two. You see how easy it is, right? So I'm also going to do the same thing for the chapter three. And as you can see, this is chapter three. So it makes it readable for your audience. It's super easy to create your ebook on Canva, even if you don't have a design skills. And that is why I suggested you use a template with a good number of pages, because if you don't use a template, this can be very exhausting. And plus we've got the best images here. Take a look at it. They're looking very professional and they are of high quality. So let me know what you think about this tutorial, if you really found this super helpful. And if you did, please hit the like button and remember to join the community for more videos like this. Okay guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.